In today's video, we're going to talk about what is the Big Five for life. Uh, you may have heard the term after reading the Y Cafe or one of my other books, or maybe you just heard the term from someone else. You're like, what is that thing? So today in this video, let's talk about what is the Big Five for life and the way it came to be. The Big Five for life is a, it's an approach to living. It's a philosophy by which you can choose to live your life. It has its basis in Africa. Uh, my wife and I at one point in our lives left everything behind, uh, sold almost everything we owned, and backpacked around the world on $40 a day. And one of the most powerful places uh, for me personally was in Africa. I had dreamed of seeing it ever since I was a kid, and to actually be there in the midst of the animals, the midst of the environment, was just truly life-changing and spectacular. And when I was there, one of the things I noticed is that people would gauge the success of their safari experience based on how many of, of they saw of what's called the African Big Five. It's five specific animals. And so if people saw all five of the African Big Five, they would say that was spectacular, amazing. And if they would see four or three or two or one, it was less and less impressive to them. And so the concept of the Big Five for life has its origins in that moment when I was in Africa. Because I asked myself, what if we were to approach our lives that way? What if we were to ask ourselves, what are the five things that I most want to do, see, or experience in my lifetime before I die? The five things so powerful that if I were to do, see, or experience them, that on my deathbed, in the last few moments of my life, those last few moments way, way in the distant future, that I could look back over my life and I could say, you know what? No matter what else I did or I didn't get to, I got to my big five for life. And therefore, my life was a success as I defined success. That's a big piece of the big five for life. This is not about what your boss thinks or your spouse thinks or your family thinks or your neighbor thinks. This is about you saying for yourself, what is it that I most want to do, see, or experience? What are my big five for life? These big five for life then become the mantra for you. They become the basis for the way in which you spend your time, the way in which you spend your energy, how you use your money. Because when you focus all of those things on your big five for life, what you'll find is that you are living an amazing, amazing existence. An existence that is 100% in sync with the perfect life as you define it for yourself. Because this isn't about me telling you what should be on your big five for life list or anybody else. This is about you deciding for yourself, what is the life that I want to live? And then aligning all of your resources, time, financial, all the rest of that, to be in alignment with your big five for life. It's an incredible place to play. I encourage you to check it out. If you're looking for help fulfilling or discovering actually your Big Five for Life, you can do that through one of two resources. We've got the online Big Five for Life discovery course, and you can sample that for free, a bunch of the steps that you can try for free. And the other option, which I recommend highly if you are around a geograph geographical area where there's a Big Five for Life coach, is to take the Big Five for Life discovery course in person. It's an amazing experience. You will get 100% crystal clear on the life that you want to live. If you've ever asked yourself, who am I? Why am I here? What are my big five for life? Find that answer because there's a reason that your unconscious mind is saying, that's what we want to know right now and that's the place that we want to play.